Hello again, everybody. Now, it's been quite a while since I've last done an awesome Linux tools video. In fact, I've only ever done one before this one. And, you know, I did mean for this to become its own series. I just haven't had a chance to get around to doing another one. But I'm going to try to do more of these. Maybe not aligned to any specific schedule, but every now and then I think it's fun to show you guys an awesome Linux tool that I've discovered. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys uLauncher. So let's check that out. Now here I am on the actual uLauncher site, uLauncher.io, and I'll have a link in the description below. You can see that they have a little animation here that shows exactly what uLauncher is. Now essentially what it does is it allows you to press a keyboard shortcut that will then allow you to launch applications or do other things. Now I don't have it installed yet, but I am going to show it to you. And I wanted to make sure that I waited until I was recording before I installed it on this laptop. So I'm running Linux Mint right now. I recently did a beta overview or first impressions video on my channel. That's what this is from. So I'm running the beta of Linux Mint 19.3. Now this is actually installable on multiple different distributions. So you don't actually have to be running Linux Mint. Now, if you scroll down on this page, you'll see here some of the distributions that this supports. Right away, you can see that it supports Ubuntu, Arch Linux, and Fedora. In terms of Ubuntu, that's obviously going to work if you are using Ubuntu itself. But since Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu, it'll work with that as well. And in addition, if you are running Pop! OS, since that's based on Ubuntu, it'll also work with that too. Now, if you're not running on something that's based on Ubuntu, it gives you the command for Arch Linux right here. And then as of the time I'm recording this video, they have the 5.4 version available for Fedora 28 and 29. So you could just download the RPM and install it that way as well. And it even gives you the command to do so. So what I'm going to do is download uLauncher right here for Ubuntu since, like I mentioned, Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu. Go ahead and save it. Now you could open it with this, but I'm going to show you multiple ways to install it. It's a very fast download. It's only 1.3 megabytes, so that was pretty quick. So I'm going to go ahead and open a file manager here. And we can see that uLauncher was downloaded. Now we can install this one of two ways. The first thing you can do is try to double click on it. And depending on your distribution, a different utility might open when you double click on it. It's possible that you might not have a graphical utility to handle dev files. So your results may vary. If you see an option to install, you can simply click on that. If nothing comes up or it brings up a compressor program or something weird like that, then we could just use the command line option, which I'm also going to show you. So I'm going to open a terminal, make this a little bigger. Now here on the terminal, I simply just change directory into the downloads directory or whichever directory is typically where your downloaded files end up going to. And again, I have the file right there. So here's the command right here. So basically we are running sudo apt install a dot forward slash and then the file name of the uLauncher dev file that we've downloaded, which will probably vary because they could have a newer version out by the time you are watching this. I'll go ahead and press enter. And this will also install some additional dependencies that this dev package needs. So that's fine. I'll press enter to accept the default to say yes. Okay, it's all done. So now that it is installed, I'm going to go ahead and just close out of these and just clean the desktop a little bit. Now I have an empty desktop. So what is uLauncher? How do you use it and how do you benefit from it? So first of all, now that it is installed, you should find it in your applications menu. In my case, I'll just search for it. And here it is, uLauncher. And you get a message up here. The text is kind of small, but it says hotkey is set to control and space at the same time. 
So I'll go ahead and press it. And right away you see a text box appears on the screen. So what I can do is start typing the name of any application that I have installed. So for example, I'll start typing Firefox and I don't even need to type the entire thing and it automatically starts showing results. Now in my case, I typed the word fire, so Firefox matches, firewall matches, and um, that's fine. I'm going to press enter. If you press enter, the first thing on the list will open and that's fine. That's what I want is Firefox. I just press enter and then up comes the browser. So why should you open applications with this utility? Well, I find it very easy to do. So for example, I mean, I have a Firefox icon right here, so that's pretty easy, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Let's just say, for example, I don't. Now what I can do is click on the applications menu, I can click on internet, and then I'll find Firefox right here. And that's fine, the application opens, but I find it's fewer steps to simply do this. That was much faster than looking for the application in the applications menu. Now another reason I like this is that uLauncher works very well in GNOME. So GNOME has an activities overview that takes you out of whatever application you are working on to find a new application. And using uLauncher, well, it's a lot easier in my opinion and a lot quicker too, especially on GNOME. If your desktop environment has a system tray, you will see it right here, like I see it here. This is the uLauncher icon. If you click on it, you can go to Preferences, and we can see that we actually have a lot of options here. We can change the hotkey if we don't like Control plus Space. We can even change the color scheme as well. So I can, for example, change it to Elementary Dark. And we can see that now it's a dark version of the color theme there. And you know what? I think I like that one better, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. You can press escape to close out of it. We have an option to launch at login. I recommend that so you can make sure that uLauncher always starts up when you log in to your Linux distribution. We have all kinds of things we can customize here. I'm not going to go over everything, but you also have some directories that are blacklisted. So Basically, things that are within these directories will not show up in the results. What's also cool is we have extensions. And extensions allow you to enhance uLauncher with additional features that aren't there by default. To show you what I mean, I'll just open up Firefox again here. Then here on Google, I'm just going to search for uLauncher extensions basically because I didn't remember the URL. But anyway, this is it right here. I'll have a link in the description below to this as well, but essentially it's just ext.ulauncher.io. And we have all kinds of really cool plugins here. There's integration for Google Keep, Bitwarden, which I actually didn't even know was there. That's awesome, I use Bitwarden, so I'll go ahead and check that out. We scroll down, we have an extension for Network Manager, and I'll keep scrolling here. Let's find a good extension to install. Here's a cool one. I'm going to click on this one. It says System. And to install an extension, you simply click here to copy the URL. Now it's not immediately apparent how to install an extension, but it's actually pretty easy. You simply click here to copy the URL that's displayed next to this icon into your clipboard and then back in uLauncher. We click on Extensions add extension, and then we paste in the URL right here, click add. And we can see that extension has been added to the system. We also get a system keyword right here that allows you to start using this extension. So if I activate uLauncher again, let's see what happens. Just like it says, I'm going to type SYS space and you can see that the extension activated and I can lock, log out, suspend, hibernate, restart, whatever I wanna do, that's pretty cool. There's quite a few additional extensions you can add to uLauncher, so I'll leave it up to you, but feel free to explore this list. There are a bunch of extensions here that will allow you to make uLauncher your own. It's a really awesome utility. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. 
check out U Launcher. Let me know what you guys think of that in this video. And then I am going to make additional awesome Linux tools videos in the future. I just created a playlist for this series. So go ahead and check that out. Subscribe to my channel and then you'll see all the new videos in this series as I get them uploaded. So thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. If you found it useful, click that like button. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe so you'll see the latest content as soon as it becomes available. If you want to help me out, there's links down below for my Patreon page, as well as links for purchasing my Linux books and also my affiliate store, which has a listing of Linux compatible hardware that I've actually tested personally. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.